In this demonstration, I'm going to complete the design of a speaker base used to extrude, loft, revolve, and sweep 3D modeling commands. To help me accomplish this task, I utilize 3D snaps and some visualization styles. In any particular task, I might use a different set of commands in AutoCAD. Since I'm going to be working with 3D solids, I'm going to configure AutoCAD to give me the commands that are most useful to me in this environment. Since this is a 3D environment, a lot of times there are many selections to make. Using selection cycling, I can precisely select the objects I need. What I've been tasked to do is to round off the base so it doesn't look so boxy. First, I extrude the back face. Notice the selection box is displayed providing visual feedback, so I know I'm getting the geometry I need. Once the extrusion is started, I enter a value and move on. I'm going to need to revolve each of the side faces down. I no longer need to draw my profile. Instead, I can utilize existing geometry to create two revolutions. This enables me the flexibility to create and edit without getting too bogged down in the details. I just want to revolve the face shape and AutoCAD enables me to do that quickly and easily. Next, I need to round off the back and front corners. Since I have an irregular shape, I'm going to loft one face to another. The loft command gives me an option to select guides so I can control how the loft flows from one profile to another. I'm going to do the same thing for the two front corners. AutoCAD enables me to select faces and edges from existing geometry, giving me flexibility in designing models. As you can see, the loft command makes it very easy for me to close up the open corners and grab the exact face I want. Now I'm going to cut a pocket out of the front of my base, starting at the center of the back face. In order to do this, I can enlist the help of AutoCAD's 3D object snaps. Now I'm going to sketch in the shape I want to cut out. With 3D object snaps, I can easily place the center point at the center of the face. Using the extrude command, I can create the cylinder I need. The object is created with little more than cursor movement and an entered distance. Using the subtract command, I remove the section of the cylinder that intersects the base. AutoCAD enables me to shape my design with straightforward, easy to use commands. I need the edge created with the boolean subtraction to be rounded. Here, I can use the fillet command, and unlike its 2D counterpart, I don't have to specify a radius until after I place the feature. The last object my design calls for is the rectangular shape around the top of the cylindrical edge. I can use the sweep command to accomplish this. Notice that I just sketched the shape away from the model. Now I'm going to let AutoCAD sweep command figure out how to align it to the edge I've picked for the path.
To help me see the sweep feature a little better, and to make sure that it's what I'm looking for, I can change AutoCAD's visual style. I'm finished with my changes now, and I can hand off my design to engineering for analysis or manufacturing for building. AutoCAD's flexible and easy to use 3D modeling commands afford me the freedom to bring my ideas from design to reality.